Hey everybody, it's Dan here again, and um, in this video I thought I'd bring you a bike check on my Stooge. Um, it's the one I rode on my recent ride around um, the Farling Downs. So um, here it is. So here it is. It's a Stooge Cycles frame set, 18 inch. It doesn't come as a complete bike, so you um, you have to build it up yourself. I think Charlie the Bike Monger, who sells them online, does sell them as complete bikes if anyone wants, and you can spec it yourself. And I think Stooge Cycles might also do that. Uh, but this frame I got myself. It's an 18 inch, um, fully rigid, as you can see. Uh, it's the Mark II version. The Mark III has the tapered headset, and this just has the traditional headset. Um, it's um, fully rigid, a uh, chromoly steel frame made in the same factory I think as Seltzer, but um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, so I've specced all the parts myself. This frame set is really versatile, so you can run it however you want really. Um, you can run it with a uh, suspension fork at the front. Um, it's got an eccentric bottom bracket, which if you don't know, that means that the threaded bottom bracket sits inside a shell, uh, which is down here and then that just rotates within the shell and that takes up the chain slack if you wanted to run it single speed so you can run it geared or single speed um, I'm running it geared with a 1x10 uh, chain set which is a narrow wide chain ring at the front and an 1146 Sunrace cassette at the back with a 10 speed rear derailleur um, so this bike I kind of cobbled together from other bits that I had off a previous bike so I already had the wheels which are Hope XC wheels on Pro 4 hubs um, I've got some Shimano Diori XT uh, brakes and calipers on there. Um, a sorry SLX brakes. I've got an XT front shifter, uh, DMR death grips, uh, a nice bell here as well. This is from Spur Cycles. Um, I think that's kind of essential, really, for um, cross-country riding. I know it's not very fashionable, but sometimes you just need to alert people to your presence. Running a Hope headset and a Thompson layback seat post which is a 27.2 diameter with a Brooks Cambion C17 carved saddle uh, this is different from all my other bikes I normally have a charge spoon saddle but for this one I've gone for the Cambion because I just think it fits in well um, as for the front I've got some super wide 800 Stooge Moto bars which um, are available off their website. These just make this bike come alive, really. It feels like a big BMX. Um, not so good for going through tight technical single track, uh, through trees and stuff. You do tend to clip them, but um, they are a really nice bike and they fit the bike well. The bike's got quite a high front end on it, so you do notice that when you're riding, it's great for popping the um, front wheel over stuff. Um, I took this bike out to um, on a trip to Keswick a little while ago and had it up in the mountains around there and it did surprisingly well. I mean it's not as fast downhill as a full suspension bike as you'd imagine but um, you know you can you can get some good sort of speed on with it. Um, it's got nice wide uh, space in the front fork and also in the rear clearance between the chain stays and the um, seat stays so that allows you to run some high volume tyres this bike's really versatile, it's got standard space in front and rear uh, with quick release uh, but you can run it 650B with a 3 inch tyre or even I think with certain rims and tyres you can get a 29 by 3 in the back um, I'm just running a 29 by 2.35 at the front and 29 by 2.2 at the back which is good for the kind of cross country stuff I'm doing so that's my Stooge Cycles 29er um, I'll pop a link in the description and you can go on the website and check it out. He's got some other cool bikes on there um, and it's also got some example photos of um, other ways that people have spec this bike up as a monster sort of gravel cross, as a tourer, as a sort of city bike. You know, this frame set can pretty much do anything you want. So I'll pop a link in the description, you can have a look. So I hope you enjoyed that one. As ever, if you like it, give me the thumbs up and if you subscribe, that would be great. Click the link um, and I'll see you again in another video. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.